Your brain is a network of billions of nerve cells, all somehow connected to each other. At this very second, millions of impulses are being transmitted through these connections, carrying information about what you can see and hear, as well as your emotional state. It's an incredibly complex system, but sometimes things go wrong. Despite extensive research, we're still not certain on the biology that underlies mental illnesses, but we've come pretty far in developing effective treatments. Alongside therapy, antidepressants are often prescribed to people diagnosed with depression. The most common class of antidepressants are known as SSRIs, one example being Prozac, which you may have heard of. To understand how SSRIs work, we need to first look at where it takes effect. The connection between two neurons are the synapse, and this is where all the important stuff happens. As an impulse travels along the first neuron, it's stimulated to release neurotransmitters, in this case serotonin, across the gap. These neurotransmitters then move across the gap and bind to their receptors on the next neuron. If enough neurotransmitter binds in a given time, the signal will then be carried down that neuron. Since serotonin is a neurotransmitter that contributes to feelings of well-being, this resulting impulse promotes a generally good mood. However, serotonin tends to lack in those with depression, which means it's harder for them to generate these impulses. So that's where SSRIs fit in and work to compensate for this. SSRI stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. In other words, it stops serotonin from being absorbed back into the first neuron. This process is called reuptake. Reuptake happens through channels like the one shown in pink, where the serotonin molecules pass through so they can be used by the neuron again for the next impulse. What the SSRI does is block this reuptake channel, which leads more serotonin in the synaptic cleft. As a result, more serotonin can bind to receptors on the postsynaptic neuron, which creates a stronger signal. The overall result is that feelings of sadness and emptiness that are caused by depression are counteracted by the increased effect of serotonin. Whilst antidepressants take care of the symptoms, there is still no cure for people who do suffer with depression. So for the moment, I think what's important is that we continue to make progress in destigmatizing mental illness and creating an environment that is supportive of recovery and that advocates for mental well-being. I think we can all help contribute to this by being open about our own feelings and showing compassion to others when they open up to us as well. So if you're going through a dark patch right now, don't be afraid to reach out, talk to a friend, because you'd be surprised at how many people have been through similar things that you have.